Hi dude, Sudok here. Welcome back to some more low rated duelists. So we got Carla Varley23 here at 721. Only 6 experience. Wow. Only 6 experience. Yet you got all that rating. My god, the rage quits. We also got. What's this guy's name? Redu. Reduard. Dujar. <laughs> this is like 3 weeks in a row. People make up the most messed up usernames on low rated duelists now. We still only have low rated duelists once a week, unfortunately. Because of this whole cease and desist over dueling network. But hopefully, I keep on saying this each week, hopefully, by this time next week, they have things figured out. DN's back up, they got all the images, and I can bring back this segment twice a week. Because I'm not going to lie, it is kind of stale only having this segment once a week. But hey, what you going to be doing? So, Red, I'm just going to call him Red, even though I'm the, his picture is black. Joffy's not mean... What? <laughs> Okay then, I guess Carla's not a fan of that, as she is forcing Red to not activate or set cards during the draw phase. You have to go into main phase one, so okay then. You are the boss, apparently. Hey, you can't do that! Cheat! Cheat! You see what the heck just happened? She just put, turned that back into her hand. What the heck? H how could you, Carla? Wow. So, she's going to start things off by activating the Dark World Grimoire. So, during your end phase, if you discard a monster to the graveyard, because you had more than enough, <laughs> more cards in your hand than the hand size limit, you can target one of those monsters in special slots. So situational. So situational. Why would you play that? You're going to have to wait three turns just to get any use out of this. Like, really, man? Dude, just wait, I'm reading. <laughs> hey, last time I checked, Carla is a girl's name. Uh, I don't know, maybe that might be a boy name? No waiting! <laughs> oh my god, that, that MLG cap lock. <laughs> that MLG cap lock. Just bouncing their cards like it's 2012. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that invisible Brio, don't they? They're bouncing their cards to their hand like it's 2012. <laughs> Oh, that is so true. So freaking true. Why do low rated duelists love doing this? We saw that last Friday as people just bounce random set cards on the field back to your hand. You're not allowed to do that. And why would you dust tornado that? That was a freaking dust tornado activate. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to hover over that. And apparently you need Dark World Grimmore to win the duel as that is the only card in Carla's key MLG deck strategy or something. Dust tornado that and then you quit. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so unfortunately, it's only a three minute duel. We're gonna have to pause the video once again and wait to get another duel, which is gonna take a long time with only probably not even 600 or 700 users online. We got 745 users online, only one admin, only one friend, unfortunately. Oh, the struggle has been so real. So thank you all for watching this very intense game number one just dust tornado a random card that's not gonna do anything like what the frick why did you have to quit when he killed this <laughs> I guess that must be the number one card in your deck or something I don't know but thank you all for watching pause the video get another game in all right guys we are back with another game you got the rookie 140 here at 98 got two experience still unfortunately looking for that first win of the format he has a 43 card deck with 15 in the extra deck and we are also joined by Timmy Tim Tim 69 oh yeah best username ever timmy tim tim and then you just gotta put your favorite number ever in the history of numbers 69 unfortunately you can't have 70 card decks because if you could have 70 card decks you already know everyone have a a main deck of 69 that would just be so obvious so it's rookie's turn let's see what he's gonna do here he's gonna start things off by summoning the raiden still for quite a bit of money pretty good artwork i gotta say I was going to summon that during the standby phase. Again, did not know you could summon during the standby phase. <laughs> okay, he's going to switch it to main phase one. And let's see, you're going to activate that effect to mill some cards. Going to go into end phase, mill some cards. No, he's just going to not use the effect. And then end his turn. Okay, then. Pretty rookie move, but that's all you're going to do. Like, really, man? I thought the whole point of Raiden is to mill, but instead he's just not going to mill. And that actually is mandatory milling during the end phase. So if you don't want to mill during your main phase, you have to mill during the end phase. So come on, Timmy. Are you going to call him on that cheat? Because come on, man. You have to mill. And 
unfortunately, that's just not the case. <laughs> so Timmy's going to special summon that Futon Thrasher and attack right into the Maiden. Or the Raiden, rather. Oh, they got similar names. I'm so used to Maiden on low-rated duelists, but no. And plus, they all look the same. <laughs> it's not racist, because all the cards look the same. Got the black, dark side, black color here. It's a very good avatar. Out of all those avatars DN has, I gotta go with this. This is the number one avatar. I mean, even rookies use this avatar, because it's just that pro, guys. <laughs> so, all he did was summon the Photon Thrasher, and now... Rookie's gonna be... I believe that was a misclick? No, he's gonna be sending it from his hand to the gr What? <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> the, the, did he just send another light to his graveyard? Oh, I can't read the banish, but I believe he just sent... Another Raiden from his hand in the graveyard, and then he's going to be banishing two lights for the Chaos Sorcerer. I mean, it looks black. Come on, the artwork looks black, guys. Close enough. And then during the battle phase, he's also going to be normal summoning the White Dragon. <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to be normal summoning that during the battle phase, so not only, I mean, it's not like it says right there, cannot be normal summon. I mean, hey, who, who needs to read the first sentence of your cards, guys? You can also do that during the battle phase. Oh my god, what the frick? And I was just going to magically die. Okay, so Timmy says it doesn't work, he's not going to take the damage. And now the White Dragon River Burst is just going to magically die here. Oh, and let's see, Malefic D, what do you possibly have to say about that? <laughs> Was that two lights? <laughs> Was that two lights he banished? I don't know. But dang, how how invisible was... Er, <laughs> how epic was that? Just an invisible... Freaking... Whatchamacallit? An invisible dark, I guess. I don't know. Invisible ultimate offering. That's what they were saying. <laughs> Oh my god, so now we see a Photon Thrasher special summon, and he's going to be normal summoning the Goblin Bird. Not using its effect, but going for the powerful Utopia. Too strong. Too strong. It's so cheap, only 30 cents. Out of all the exceeds, you just have to go into Utopia, guys. Just the most MLG exceed monster ever in the history of the game. You can't really blame Timmy Tim Tim. He's just so pro. Timmy Tim Tim 69 is the best username ever, guys. He has quite a bit of rating, 208. A decent amount of experience, 17's not that much, but hey, whatevs. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck am I watching, guys? Seriously. I believe he banished two lights, because I thought he sent another Raiden from his hand to the graveyard, and now he's going to be sending another Raiden to his graveyard, and then he's going to quit the duel. Okay. Okay then. <laughs> Best duel ever, guys. Best duel freaking ever. <laughs> Utopia. <laughs> Another rage quit. Yeah, and yup, it is rage quit day. You're completely right on that, Malefic D. So, a very great game right here. Did not know you could just magically send cards from your hand to the graveyard. And then I, I swear he banished two lights for that Chaos Sorcerer. And maybe there is a invisible ultimate offering. I don't know, guys. But thank you all for watching. <laughs> Hand equals graveyard. <laughs> thank you all for watching this second duel of today's low rated duels. We have time to get one more in, so we're gonna pause the video once again and get one last game in. All right, guys. We are back with the third and final duel. We got C Johnson one here at 89. Oh God! And he quits. Best duel ever. So, scratch that. This is not the third and final duel. This is something stupid. So, it is National Rage Quit Day. Again. My god. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. And Let's see Malefic D. National Rage Quit. <laughs> Come on, guys. Seriously. Is, why do you have to quit over and over and over again? So, I'm sorry. We're going to pause the video again. And we'll try to do this yet again. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, guys. Here it is. The fourth duel. We got Cory. Not Perry. <laughs> Corey Mate Naga. I think that's his name. Mate Ga. Mate Ga? No, no, no. It's Corey Mate Ga. Oh, okay. Takes a little getting used to to pronounce that name. It's a 60 card deck, zero in that extra deck. Through a six rating, but unfortunately only 17 experience. So he's not that experienced. 
in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, but hey, maybe is a real Alright guys, we approached that 10 minute mark, I'm so sorry, I did not realize, but I was just too focused on this duel, you know. Oh my god, what is going on? He attacks right into Gazelle the King of Mystical Beast. <laughs> I was announcing this card right here, the Fountain in the Sky, I've never seen this card before. It's basically Dian Quito the Cure Master 2.0, because when you're, if he destroys your light monster, like a blue eyes white dragon, you can banish it and then gain 3,000 life points. That's three times the Dian Quito the Cure Master. Thankfully, nothing is really happening here. Guys didn't see in the bad reaction to Samochi play, he played Soul Taker. He tried to target a set monster, but then we realized that set monsters are indeed not face up. <laughs> Soul Taker specifically says face up. So there is a Noble Knight, Arturigus. Okay, that's pretty random. 1800 attack points, 1800 defense. But he will be able to banish it and gain 1800 life. Wait, you're not gonna? Why not banish? I guess he really wants it in the graveyard. I mean, what's the point of playing this card if you're not going to banish? Eh, that really doesn't make that much sense, but whatever. It's back to Corey's turn. I have no idea how long we approached that 10 minute mark, but I believe it was pretty soon because I was at 9 minutes 30 seconds by the time this video started. God, I hate Banji Camp sometimes. I hate it, but hey, on the plus side, nothing is really happening. You really didn't miss much. Rage is going to set a second monster here. It's back to Corey's turn. He has five cards in his hand. He's not going to be summoning the Gel and Duo. Dang. The last time I seen this card in competitive play was YCS Long Beach when the Dark World player sided this card, and it was so good. Still going for quite a bit of money. It's never got a legitimate reprint, if I remember correctly. Eight dollars. Wow. We're <laughs> at seven watchers. <laughs> a lot of the, It's always the same guys. I know the Shadow Rider guy was here last week, and I know Hero Fusion was here last week. Oh, he attacks right into that clutch marshmallow. He loses yet another thousand life points. Come on, man. Why didn't you activate this guy's effect? You really want that noble knight in your graveyard? I mean, come on. <laughs> it's back to Rage's turn. I don't know if we stayed long enough to announce these guys' ratings, but he's a 98 rating, 12 experience. Problem is, I don't know how long we were in the video until we hit the 10 minute mark. That's the problem. So stupid. But no one is really doing anything. Bad reaction to Samochi's burning him for a little bit of life points. Ooh, Regeki is activated. Did not know why you set that. Yeah, why did you set Regeki? It's too valuable, man. Gets past a green Kappa. <laughs> hey, Kappa, what's up, Kappa? <laughs> they should have changed this card's artwork to Kappa. <laughs> they should have. I mean, that's not... Kappa isn't a Yu-Gi-Oh card. They easily could have changed this card's artwork to Kappa. <laughs> oh, my God. What the frick is this? So when it's flipped, you can target two set spell or trap cards in the field and destroy them. Oh, that's actually not that bad. can't believe this is the first time I've seen this card on my YouTube channel. That is not that bad. It's really not. So now Corey's going to attack directly for 1,700 points of damage. This will bring Rage down to 5,800. Wow. Let's see what this watcher chat has to say now. Is anyone talking about the pizza? Come on. Where's the pizza? Tacos and pancakes? What? Uh, no. Okay, here it is. I don't want pizza. Chimchangas greater than... What the heck is a chimchanga? Pizza greater than everything. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, apparently these guys want tacos and pancakes this time, but... Hey, we're, we're still talking about the pizza, guys. Not that bad. I love how no one in this watcher's chat is talking about the duel whatsoever. It's all about food, because food too pro, guys. <laughs> There's nothing really to commentate on, is I believe this is going to be a very, very long fourth duel. Those first three duels are very short, but I don't see this duel ending anytime soon. I'm sorry, guys. So now Corey's going to flip someone in defense mode. Oh my god, so yeah, there's a video I'm going to make called the top five rules lower to duelists don't know about, and flip summoning is one of them. Everyone thinks you could flip someone in defense mode. And I don't know where they get that idea from, because no one ever flips summons in the TV show. Because no one ever sets monsters in the TV show. At least from what I remember. They all normal summon in defense, but... Oh my god, you can't flip someone in defense mode, man! What the frick are you doing? <laughs> so there's a Radiant Jewel. And when it's sent to the graveyard, you can gain a thousand life points. If the Sanctuary in the Sky is <laughs> so situational. But whatevs. He also activated Solar Ray. This is able to inflict 600 
points of damage to your opponent for each light monster you control. So there went by by the 1,200 points of Rage's life points. This brings him down to 4,600. Okay then. And now Rage is going to be activating the Swords of Revealing Light to stall out the duel even further. And he's going to special summon man. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I believe he activated Sentis of Dauga. Equipped to a fairy type monster, it gains 500. Wait, what the heck just happened? Fiendish Chain doesn't destroy. What the What just happened? What just happened? Can, can someone tell me what just happened? <laughs> there had to be something that was missing there. He activated this equip spell. He played Fiendish Chain on a monster. The monster magically died. And then I saw him special summon a Manju in defense mode. What? What just happened? <laughs> I don't know, Stu Dog, and I don't care. <laughs> okay, apparently no one knows what just happened there. Because did that really... Wow. The Fiendish Chain really destroy a monster. <laughs> Buck 69. God, we can't escape 69. You just can't escape 69 on DN. Even the freaking card prices, man. Now Rage is going to be activating Reload to send... All cards in his hand back into a deck, or his deck, and then draw five cards. The most MLG card in low rated duelist. Well, one of them. It's so bad, but hey, it attracts so many low rated duelists because it, it's just a simple effect that draws cards. I mean, you would think it's pretty good. If you got a bad hand, if you got a bad hand, just activate that. Problem is, it's just a free neg one, and most of the times you're not actually going to want to use it, but apparently, Rage is going to get some use out of that. And you do got, do got to draw one more. You had five. <laughs> Was it five or four? I'm not even dueling and I remember. Really, man? I'm not even dueling. <laughs> oh, my God. But thankfully, Corey is nice like that. He's actually going to tell him that it was five. If I was dueling, I would have said four, man. I would have said, hey, if you're not pro enough to remember, I'm not going to I'm not gonna let you get that extra card. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's no good either way. So, I think you need to get yourself a better deck, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> We're almost at that 20-minute mark. And now, Corey's going to be sending this guy from his hand to the graveyard to add Sanctuary in the Sky from his deck to the hand. I do not know how to pronounce that first name, so... Herald of Heaven. And, again, not going to pronounce that name. <laughs> so, Corey's going to activate the Sanctuary in the Sky. It has such great artwork, but unfortunately, Cease and Desist, man, crushes our dreams. So, Sanctuary in the Sky is now nothing but black. Some great artwork right here. <laughs> now he's going to be setting Divine Punishment and then activate. What? 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 <laughs> Counter traps equal. Wait. I, I can't even explain how bad that play was. I can't even explain. He's going to be setting Divine Punishment. Activating it on the same turn to destroy bad reaction to Samoji. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> oh my god, the voice cracks are so real. But seriously, can someone tell me what... That, that play went wrong in so many ways. Like seriously, man. One, you can't activate traps the same turn you set them. Two, there's nothing to counter. The card is already face up on the field. Are you kidding me, man? Wow, Corey. You got 300 rating. I think you at least know how to play the game. What the heck was that? <laughs> oh my god, unbelievable. Now we see a lightning vortex activated by Rage. And out out of the hurt, he's going to get rid of his MST to nuke both of Cory's monsters. What the heck was that? What do what the watchers got to say about that? <laughs> okay, that's not how punishment works. <laughs> oh my god, punishment negates anything now, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I swear, he set that card the same turn and then activated it. So you're just going to be setting Divine Punishment, activating it on the same turn to destroy a continuous card that's already on the field. And again, he's going to be normal summoning in defense mode. Did not know you can normal summon in defense mode. <laughs> Seriously, guys, what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> unbelievable. Just unbelievable right here. Almost at that 20 minute mark. And again, I don't think this duel is anywhere near done. And I love how every time 
Well, this is only destroyed by battle, but I mean, that one time when your opponent destroyed your noble knight, why didn't you activate this card's effect? Because this has just been sitting on the field for 10 minutes doing nothing. I don't understand. What's the point of playing a, a, a quick card like this, or a continuous card, rather, if it's just going to sit on the field for the entire video and you're not going to use it once? This is not the first time we've seen this happen on LRD. There's been times where we've seen someone randomly play one pendulum, and then the one pendulum sits on the field for 15 minutes, and he never uses, uses its effect or sets up his skills once. It's so pointless. This is exactly what's happening with this card. You just activate it, it sits on the field, and you're not going to get any use out of it once. Unbelievable, but here is a... Melteo, Sage of the Sky, and he's going to attack right into the Axe Dragonoot. I do not know why you set that. Yeah, it's not every day we see someone set an Axe Dragonoot. But, whatevs. It's back to Rage's turn, and he has seven cards to work with. What are he's gonna do? Oh my god, this freaking duel. Oh no, no. Now someone's talking in the watchers chat. Who is that? Rage? Oh, Rage. What do you gotta say? Let me get them real quick. <laughs> I know, right? Why would you set that in defense mode? <laughs> he's been summoning in face up defense mode this whole time. <laughs> Oh my god, this video, guys, I swear to god, it just gets more messed up every week. Every freaking week since this deceased and desist, these little Rita Duelists have been getting just more messed up. Every freaking week. So, his money's on Cory to win. Let's see, who am I rooting for? Well, to be honest, I'm really not rooting for anyone, but... Okay, hopefully you're... Yeah, I don't know why that attacked directly, but whatevs. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button, LOL. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't really matter. I don't know who I'm rooting for. I guess... I don't know. I guess Rage, because he hasn't been cheating that much. But seriously, Corey, <laughs> you got all that rating, and still, you don't know that you can't summon in face-up defense mode. or Like, seriously, that Divine Punishment play, like, what the heck was that? What the heck was that, Corey? Come on. Like, the cheating was so real. There's no way you actually thought that was a legal play. Like, no way in a million years, but... Oh, whatever. He attacks right into a... Submarine Roid. Or a Submarine Roid. Sorry, I, I had to sound it out, but... It's actually Submarine. <laughs> That's what I get for sounding out words. That's what we they told me to do in first grade. If you don't know what a word is, you sound it out, but... It didn't really work that well in this situation. So, he's going to be attacking that. I don't believe he'll take any damage, and he'll just end his turn. And it's back to Rage's turn, so let's see Rage. Thankfully, he's not raging. <laughs> That's the plus. Already a 23-minute video. I hope this doesn't become a half-hour video, but probably is not going to be the case. I really don't want this to be a half-hour video. I don't even know what these guys are talking about anymore. And yes, this is a rated duel, by the way. All the duels since the deceased and desist have been rated duels. And of course, these guys are not knowing that there's a hand limit. I believe that is seven cards in his hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven cards. You do have to discard. There is a hand limit in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Believe it or not. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one knows about the freaking hand limit anymore. So he's gonna be. I believe he summoned the Sage of the Sky. And now Rage is going to be activating some spell co Oh my god, Swords and Monster Recovery. I have no idea what this does. You can target a monster. You control. Shuffle it into the deck. Oh. <laughs> okay, he's going to put it to his hand and then shuffle. Wait, wait, wait. Shuffle. Wait, 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 wait. Shuffle into your deck. Also, after that, draw cards equal to the number of cards shuffled from your hand in the deck with this effect. Oh, okay, so it's like a mini... I guess, reload? I don't know. I thought he messed that up, but I mean, apparently that's not the case. It's, again, he shuffled his entire hand and that one monster back into his deck just to get another bad hand. And he'll probably be like, oh, this hand is just as worse as the other hand. Oh my god, and he's going to be activating Torrential Tribute upon a set monster. Seriously, guys, come on. Come on. <laughs> set equals summon. 
God, no, no. There's no way you're gonna let him do that rage. No way. He's gonna set a monster and then activate torrential tribute. <laughs> what the frick is this? I swear to God, these are not scripted, guys. What the heck? But seriously, some of the plays like that divine punishment play. What the frick? Was that? Seriously, this has to be scripted by someone. I'm not scripting this, guys. But seriously, this is a random rated duel that I just joined. And wow, now he's just going to quit. Okay. Okay, best duel ever, guys. Best duel ever. Four for four on the rage quits. Four rage quits. Yeah, buddy. Oh, my God. What the heck am I watching? I, I don't understand anymore. How can some of these guys do some of these plays? And everyone's okay with this. Like, seriously. That torrential tribute. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I, I don't have any words, guys. I have zero words to say about this. <sighs> anyway, thank you all for watching. It was, it was pretty good, I guess. <laughs> we'll be back next fri Friday with some more. That's all I got to say. Thank you all for watching, as always. And until next time, this is Stu Dog. And I'm signing out.